Greetings, loved ones, and welcome back to another Closet Purge. You guessed it, buddy, I'm back and I'm doing just a video dedicated to my drawers. There are four drawers here that need to be decluttered. Why am I doing this with my hands? I haven't done a declutter of these drawers, I don't think since 2019. It was when I had bangs. I'll link the video on the screen. Basically what I'm gonna be cleaning out in here today is my t-shirts, but the dresser does hold a little bit more than that. It also holds my workout clothes, pajamas, out of season slash like holiday oriented clothing that I like retire from the closet and I put in the bottom drawer in here. And then I'm also going to be clearing out the drawer underneath my bed. So let me just show you the state of these drawers right now because some of them I can't even open and I need to go back to that Marie Kondo roll up method in my drawers because I went back to the folding method which you can see I can barely even open or close the drawers now. They're so over stuffed and I just really need to do a declutter and take out the t-shirts that I'm going to be selling online for you guys to buy yourself. So I'll link these down below if you want to go and shop my closet. But I don't know, for some reason I just started stacking them again in piles where I would just fold the shirts. But I think that rolling t-shirts is a lot better of a method for me personally because then I can actually see the graphics on the t-shirt and it's not like piled under so many different things. And that's what I used to do back in the day. So why not go back to that method that I know worked better than this one right now? Because this method right now is overwhelming me. Also in the drawer underneath my bed, I do roll my clothes. I roll my jeans. We're gonna be clearing out jeans, sweatpants, and some shorts today as well. I really just have a lot of pants that I don't wear as much anymore. Anyways, we're gonna start over here today and just get after it. Also, I know you can see my filming equipment in here. It's fine. There's just a big mirror here. Just black it out, black it out. So let's just start top left. So this drawer is all of my white, black, and gray t-shirts. And I have so many in this drawer, it has just become truly disturbing. So I'm just gonna take out each shirt and be like, does this spark joy? Yes or no? This is my, I would drink beer with a goat on a boat and a box in my socks and a car at a bar. I do, I do, I do like beer. Slammed I am Jamaica shirt. I love this shirt. The collar's really weird on it, so I might wanna cut that. So actually I'm gonna put this in my alterations pile, but I'm not selling that shirt. I love that. This shirt is my Rick and Morty shirt and it's mine now because it used to be Finley's. And while I do love it, I feel like I should sell this on Depop to like a really big Rick and Morty stan. You know what I mean? Because I feel like we just don't wear it anymore. My Sis a Good Day shirt, keeping her. My Shrewd Farms bed and breakfast shirt, oh my God keeping her. Oh, I forgot to say that I'm gonna try on the shirts that I'm selling just so that you know what they look like. Don't worry, I'm wearing something underneath this, okay? My fave bra. But this Rick and Morty shirt is, I think, just from like the Adult Swim merch store or something. Again, it was Mr. Finley's, but I love it. Sometimes I wear it to Zumba, but that's pretty much it. But it just has all of these characters all over it, and it's just awesome. So if you want this, it'll be on my Depop. The lighting is really weird today. It's just changing a lot because it's really rainy outside, so it's kind of like casting a gloom, but then I have a studio light, so. I'm gonna need to try to adjust this in editing, make it a little bit brighter up in here. Next, we have my Fozzie shirt from my friend Nevin's shop that she sells on, and I'm keeping her. I love that Fozzie shirt, especially the mushrooms on the back. Oh my God, my Polly Noor shirt, obsessed with her work. Keeping it. The Future is Female, a classic shirt, circa 2016, when Miss Hillary, yes! was running for president. And I kind of like to keep shit like this as like a memento to that period in time, you know? Okay, wait, this shirt I'm up in the air about. I keep this little crop top because I've had this, I think, since high school. And it's just one of those shirts that I just like wear to work out and I wear it in the summertime and I'll like throw it over a bikini top or something. So I think I'm gonna keep it. It's kind of random and I don't really know what the B is for or stands for. I feel like it's like a baseball logo or team or something. Let me know if you know what the thumb Thumbs up B logo is because I don't fucking know. Ooh, this one is from a subscriber's podcast, the Figuring It Out podcast that I was on. And I like this shirt. It's embroidered, it's lovely. See, this is why I can't get rid of shit. This is exactly why I can't get rid of shit. Obviously, I'm keeping this. This is my first ever merch item. Please comment down below if you ever got one of these or brownie points if you still have one. 
because this is my original Stay Smiling shirt. This is the one that I took all of my merch photos in as well. That has my signature on the back, even though my signature is fucked. I don't know why I put that on there. Um, speaking of merch, this is Andrew Lau's merch that says I'm having an okay time. And I got this and I actually don't think that I've ever worn it. I buy these and I like to support my friends or whatever. And then I will never see them again because the logo is like buried under all of these other shirts, you know? This Bernie Sanders shirt, again, a memento to what the world could have been. And sure, I kind of want to keep this, but also at the same time, I think I've worn it maybe two or three times. And I'm considering selling it, but it says Rage Against the machine and then the back of it says this so I'm gonna put it on to show you kind of like the size of it because it's an extra large so it definitely fits like relaxed and goes like over my butt and stuff but I mean she is the moment I just don't know if I love walking around with other people's faces plastered on my body you know like I'm not the type of person to like advertise somebody else's face so it's hard to keep something like this for me because I just feel like I never wear it. <laughs> and it's different when you have merch from somebody where it has like a phrase on it compared to like a face. Does that make sense to you guys? I'm not trying to sound like annoying or pretentious. This is just my truth. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the sell pile for now because I was actually when I was thinking about filming this video I was like, I think I need to sell that Bernie shirt. <laughs> oh, I love this shirt This is my outside lands shirt, but again, I never wear this because I never see it Buried underneath all these other white tees in my white tee. Anyways, I went to outside lands in 2019 before the old panty and I got this shirt I love it. I'm keeping it at least for now. Ooh, my Kurt Montgomery tee He used to sell some of his like tattoos Tattoo designs. Kurt Montgomery is my tattoo artist who has done four of my tattoos. I say my tattoo artist because I probably won't get any other tattoos unless they're from him. But yeah, he used to sell t-shirts and now he sells acrylics on Instagram of some of his art, which Finley actually got me one of them for my birthday, which was awesome. But again, I just feel like I want to keep this stuff. It's so hard. Oh, my Maurice shirt. Of course I'm keeping this. How can I get rid of this? Deranged. Like... <laughs> What do you people expect from me? Okay, you know what I actually might get rid of is this. My lover tee. I just feel like while I don't have a lot of gray shirts, like this is pretty much the only light gray one I have, I have a darker gray one. But this is like from Urban Outfitters, literally like in 2015 or something like that. I got this and she's cute, she's giving, love her work. But again, I feel like I just never wear this unless I go to Zumba, so I have enough t-shirts that I can wear to Zumba other than this and I should switch it up. My Empowered Women, Empower Women shirt, I wear this a lot, actually. It's fitted, it looks nice on the bod, keeping her. This is a Phoebe Bridger shirt, and I just live for a long sleeve black moment. I think I got this last year, and I've worn it so many times, and Finley loves it too. So I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, this is a new one that I got that I showed in a recent haul, my Weenie Mama shirt. But let me tell you guys, I don't know who printed this, but whoever did, flopped because it went in the dryer one time and it literally looks like it's gonna peel off. Whoo, that was overexposed, sorry. But I'm keeping it anyways. I literally just got it, so why would I sell it? Okay, this is another black long sleeve, my Mac Miller shirt that says 92 till infinity. I just need to keep all of my Mac Miller merch because I love him and now that he's passed away, everything just means more. <laughs> and speaking of things meaning more, this what a trip shirt from the Appalachian Trail I got with my friends when I was like 15 and we thought we were so fucking cool wearing these to school because they have like mushrooms on the back and I just actually love that shirt so I'm gonna keep it. Um, I'm actually gonna sell this one. This is the last piece I think of Mod Sun merch that I own. There's really no tea, no shade other than I just kind of grew out of his music and was obsessed when I was a teenager and now I'm 25. So yeah, but if you guys like this shirt, you can buy it from me. It just says happy to be here. It's very cute and embroidered and then the back has an embroidered MS for his logo on the back. This is a memento from our Grayton Beach days. The red bar we used to go to as a family all the time and it ended up burning down. I actually don't know if they rebuilt it, but it was tragic. And so this is just kind of my memento from Grayton Beach and the 30A Florida days with my family growing up. So I'm keeping her, you know, I have a lot of nostalgic shirts in here. Also, this is my Betch Kelly T. I think it's from, let me borrow that top. Those like viral Kelly videos from back in the day. And I got Lindsay a matching one, so 
keeping her. This shirt I'm actually gonna sell because Finley has a matching one and I just feel like we don't really need two of them. Uh, we got these for Christmas one year and if I really wanna wear this, I'll just borrow Finley's, but look at it. When you pull the pocket down, it's like those old rip and dip shirts with the cat in the pocket, she flicks you off. So it is kind of Rue being a badass. And I love this shirt, but again, Finley already has one. If I wanna wear his, I'll wear his, but I'm gonna sell this one. Okay, this shirt, I think I'm gonna sell just because I rarely wear it. It says, fuck your system, okay? And this was my friend Destin Conrad's merch that he released kind of around 2020 when all of the BLM protests were happening. And I bought it to support him, but I think I'm probably gonna sell this one and then like donate the money to a mutual aid fund here in Portland because I bought it for a good cause but at the same time I don't wear it and I just feel like every shirt should have a home that loves it you know what I mean and wears it and doesn't just like keep it in a drawer and then lastly I'm gonna sell this shirt as well it was sent to me from a friend he was just like making some small batch tees and was like hey can I send you some and I was like sure but I don't think I've ever worn this I don't know why I think it's just because again I have so many t-shirts and it was like at the bottom of the pile but this is definitely like an extra large like it goes past my butt it's just like one big size. You could wear it with like no pants if you're short like me. You could wear it as a dress. <laughs> I'm 5'3", so just for reference. But yeah, this shirt says, I am free, stop worrying. It doesn't sing it, but it does say it. <laughs> and it's a cool graphic. I like that he made these. I'm looking at this pile being like, fuck. Now I gotta put all these back. It's in a roll and I can see what it says. I'm gonna do that for the full drawer and I'll show you when I'm done. All I have to say is the critics are raving. She looks amazing. Now I can see all of the designs on the shirts and I can wear them accordingly. Life is good. Now let's start on this drawer. Now let's get into my yellow, orange, and red, green to brown? I don't really know what's in here. It needs to be reorganized anyways color wise. Like I like to color grade them to where it goes from like dark to light shades of color, you know? Anyways, um, anti-clothing supply. Love this. My friend Kathy's line. Keeping her work. I love her work. I'm just gonna start putting them on the floor because I need to roll them up that way anyways. Aw, oh, this is my cute little sunflower shirt. I really like this one too and I need to wear this one more. Okay, this next shirt is my Lord Supercut shirt that I got at her tour in 2018 and I literally don't think I've ever worn it outside of 2018. I'm not kidding. I have a couple of shirts that are red and yellow like this and I always wear the one that says, I'm proud to be a farmer's daughter, which I don't think is in here. I think it's in the laundry. So I might sell this super cut shirt because I'm sure that there's a Lord Stan out there that would really want this and I wanna give it to them. You know, I do, I really do. I mean, I love me some Lord. I just need this to go to a better home. Also, I forgot to say when I was putting away all those other shirts, I decided that I don't wear either of these enough. So I'm gonna sell these ones. Next, we have my Messy Heads merch. Wow, that was an era. If you guys have been following me for a while, you may remember when I was in the Messy Heads like magazine. They discontinued them, but I still have this kind of burnt orange shirt from back then, that's very like groovy 70s kind of text. And I love this shirt and it's really like the only like orange shirt that I have. So part of me wants to keep it, but also at the same time I'm like, bitch when was the last time you wore this? So I'm gonna sell her. Next is my other little Fozzie shirt from my friend Nevin's shop, which I'm keeping. It's a collage shirt and it's super cute. And then I also have another piece of my merch, which I'm obviously keeping, be the Eric to my Donna. Let me know down below if you have that one. Next, we have Nathan Zed merch. Wow, king. He made this merch after Frank Ocean released that song and there's like a quote from his mom that's like, and know that you are good enough. <laughs> so it just says good enough. It's just like a nice bright yellow shirt. Honestly, I feel like I should have gotten a hoodie instead of a t-shirt back then because I probably would have worn it more than I do the t-shirt. But I mean, it is really comfy. It's very good quality. I love it. Next, I have my pronounced Atlanta shirt. I love this shirt because it's just so real. Like if you're from around Atlanta, you just say it like this. And you know what? I lied when I said that that was my only orange t-shirt because this is like a nice pumpkin. So I'm gonna keep my pumpkin shirt. And next, I found this 
in my memory box back home. The Speak Now Tour t-shirt. I got this in 2012, I wanna say, when I was a freshman in high school. My sister and I went to the Speak Now Tour and I got this shirt and it's such a sleigh. It really is. I mean, I know that it's like for a different body type than I have right now. Like it's very small and I love like an oversized moment, but also like a fitted baby tee could be a moment as well. And I don't have a lot of bright red t-shirts. I actually think that this is like the only one that I'm going to be keeping. And then the reason I said that that's the only red t-shirt that I'm keeping is because I have this shirt and it's not really a t-shirt, but it is a memento of my past. So when I was, I wanna say 14, I found this shirt at Urban Outfitters and it's literally Santa smoking a joint and it says, where the cookies at? And I used to wear this all the time and I took photos in this and I put it on my Facebook and like my parents fully followed me Like what was wrong with me where I thought that this was okay for the time I was just you know trying to be edgy and iconic I thought and I found it when I was going through my memory box back home and I was like I'm fucking bringing this shit back to Oregon so I might give this to my friend Abby because we used to always trade off wearing it and I'm seeing her at the end of the month. She's one of my bridesmaids. So I might like pack this for her and just surprise her with it and be like, do you want it? Be honest. Because I can't sell it. Like the nostalgic part of me can't sell it. So I want her to have it if I'm not gonna keep it. You know, my this heifer needs a vacay shirt. This is new, so keeping. I got this at Bucky's Truck Stop on our road trip back home from Georgia over the holidays. Um, actually, I'm glad that I'm getting rid of that other Kurt Montgomery shirt because I'm gonna keep this one because it's pretty much my one like tan tee and it says daddy's day off because you deserve it dad <laughs> And that was the name of his clothing line that he sold like his tattoo designs on t-shirts under and again He doesn't sell these anymore. So it feels kind of exclusive for me to have it You know the last time that I saw him he gave me some of his like clear out merch from that, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then I'm also gonna keep this. This is my friend Sasha, Silence Tippies merch, and I'm obsessed with this. It's kind of like a sunflower, intergalactic, galaxy-faced icon of her with her sunflowers. And y'all know I have to support a queen. Queens supporting queens, we love to see it. Why is the lighting like this? I hate your work. It's like either I'm too dark or too washed out. There's no in-between, apparently. Anyways. This is my mommy shirt. I wear this when I'm feeling mom energy or when I go to nanny, which is like not really ever because my nanny family in Oregon moved to Florida. But a girl can dream and I can wear this when I have kids one day, so yeah. Okay, this shirt is too fucking big to be in here, but also it used to be hanging in my closet and after a while I was kind of like, why is this hanging in my closet? Why does this take up so much room? So I might sell this because while I freaking love it, it's kind of like a thermal and it's very comfy. It's like an olive green moment. It's bordering on brown, you know, that color, kind of the in-between. But it's like a collared, like I just thrifted this and I just thought it was really comfy and cute. Oh, there's a fuzz on my boob. I forget when I thrifted this, but I must have shown it in a haul. And a lot of you were like, you needed that. Like so comfortable, amazing, warm, awesome. And I kind of wore it as like a jammy shirt for a while, like a little PJ, but I think that now, I just kind of want to sell it. I don't know, I'm at such a crossroads with like keeping too many pajama sets because honestly, I sleep in the nude. It's just what I do. So it's really hard for me to like hold on to pajamas that I know that I'm only going to bring on vacations with other people who, you know, wouldn't want to see me. Anyways, this shirt says, kiss the mountain air we breathe. And I actually ended up with this shirt just because my sister got it from my brother for Christmas, but he already had it. And I think I'm just gonna sell it cause it is like a nice tan tee as well. But I feel like some hiker who follows me would wanna take this off my hands. And it's giving Colorado Red Rocks energy. Like it's literally Red Rocks Amphitheater in the photo on the graphic. So I'm just gonna sell this to somebody who would wear it more than me. Oh, this shirt, so hard for me to get rid of. I don't think that I'm going to, honestly. It's like multicolored, gray, tan, green. It's just cute. There's something about it that just gives me like androgynous energy and I just really like stuff like that. This is another shirt that I was actually thinking about the other day because Finley and I both really like this shirt, but the neck, dude, the neck is a no. Like it's just so weird. Like. 
why does it look like this? It's like so tight. And so I think I'm gonna cut it and try to re-sew the neckline or just cut it and leave it to fray and look more worn in. So I'm gonna put this over with my um, I do, I do, I do like beer shirt so that I can work on this maybe in like a so drunk. I need to bring those back. I miss that energy. I really do. Oh, more merch. <laughs> this is my merch from 2019. It says, I just wanna to tend to my plants and mind my own business. And it's a nice forest green moment and I love her. I actually and forgot that shirt existed, which is so embarrassing because I literally made it. Well, my friend Bronte made the design, but I came up with the concept. Anyways, this shirt is Kendall Ray merch. I think she did like a collaboration with um, like some kind of a fundraiser. She sent this to me, it was like a PR moment. And I really like the color of this shirt. It's like a nice faded green. And it also says something that I already have on a t-shirt, which is empowered women, empower women. But this is just a different vibe. It's just a different tea. So I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god, I forgot about this shirt. I need to put this on display more. This is my bitch tea. And it says beautiful, intelligent, talented, charming, and horny. And it's just so funny. I don't wear this enough, so maybe I'll wear this to Zumba the next time I go. And I'll just blow all of the ladies in my class out of the water. They're gonna be like, where did you get that and why did you wear it here? Anyways, this is from my online friend Cedar's shop. This design is actually a sticker on my Hydro Flask and I have a ton of her stickers. Little Talking Tree is her at on Instagram. I'm pretty sure she still has an Etsy shop and I just love this tea. I think it's great, so keeping it. Oh, and then I also forgot that I had this. This is my control shirt from SZA, a memento of when she released albums. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna roll these up, put them back in the drawer. Is this boring? Do you like this experience? I'm kind of loving it. Go off, colorful queen. Greens, red, orange, yellow to tan, grayish, you know. She's looking gorgeous. I love this. I love everything about it. There is a gap in the middle of all the drawers, like in between the rows, but it's fine. Like I can put some more, if I get, hopefully not, more t-shirts, I can put them in between the rows. Just thinking ahead, you know? Rue has joined me over here and I'm going to be going through this last drawer. I realized that I don't really need to go through my workout gear because I wear all of this. And then the stuff at the back is my like underlayers for when it's really cold and that's all out of season. And then this stuff, like I said, is PJs out of season stuff like for fall and winter and stuff. Anyways, let's clean out this. So this is like a bunch of blue shirts and then my tie-dye shirts. So this was a recent purchase, I'm keeping it. It's my Amperland New York shirt for Pine Grove and I'm gonna wear it to their concert next week. This shirt is just fucking funny and I love hiking in it and wearing it on family trips. Is it a bear? Is it a deer? It's a beer. Can you believe it? I found this for free. Los Pollos Hermanos, the Chicken Brothers from Breaking Bad. This shirt I might sell. I think one of you, one of my subscribers sent this to my PO box and it is a very, very comfy shirt and it does kind of have a killer graphic on the back as well. Like it's just mountains and streams and it's very like comfy, cozy and nice, but I just feel like I never wear it. I really feel like I forget to wear it. So I think I'm gonna sell this one. This is the other Taylor Swift merch shirt that I own. It is from, I believe the Fearless tour. It was like the first concert I ever went to and I literally bought this shirt in sixth grade Well, probably my mommy bought it for me and I'm obsessed like I'll never forget this night Okay, this shirt I literally just have to try on because it is the funniest fucking thing of all time Did you guys do this when you had like game days or field days at your public school where you cut shirts and you tied the sides of them and wrote on them with glitter because I found this in my memory box back home and I was like, wait, I kind of like need that in my life. And when I showed Finley, he was like, yes, bring that home. That is sick. You can wear that on the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, it's literally crinkling. The glitter's crinkling. Me at 25 trying to put on a shirt that I made when I was 12. Who signed my boobs? Does that say Abby? That's my bestie right there. Like, did you guys do this? Please, let me know in the comments below. Like, you cut the sides and then retied them. You had all of your friends, like, sign it, and then it was decorated in glitter. HBMS, 
Fly Eagles, come on now, come on now. 2010, oh my God, this was literally from when I was in sixth grade. She was giving body yadi yadi. Like I literally made this to cinch into my waist like a fucking corset or something like that. Like, can you even believe that this is real and that I still have this? I mean, I can't get rid of it now, why would I? It's a sleigh. Slay what you wanna slay. Taking that shirt off was a journey. It wasn't that hard to put it on, but taking it off got glue and glitter all over my floor, so incredible. It also got glue and glitter all over the shirt underneath it, which Finley painted in, and now it has brown paint on it. But this is our friend Stefan's um, old merch, and I just wanna keep this for Mems, honestly, and because it's one of my few navy blue shirts. Well, that's a lie. But this last shirt that's in here for the blue pile, is something that I literally thrifted in high school, I'm pretty sure. It's a jersey that says bums, and I just kind of loved it when I got it, and it's gonna be hard for me to break up with, but it's fine. It fits like this, it kind of like goes down to the butt, and then it has this patch on it that says since 1990. But I think I'm gonna sell that one. And then the rest of these are tie-dye shirts and pink to purple shirts, I think. I don't know, there's so much in here. This shirt from my first Bonnaroo, keeping it. This is a Grateful Dead shirt for my friend Summer, keeping it. This I'm gonna get rid of. This is from TKO, which is a brand I love for smoking a good good. And they sent me this, it says Exotic Chronic. And sometimes I wear it to Zumba, cause it's like cropped and cutie, but I don't wear that color enough to keep it, I don't think. I do love a lilac moment though. And this, am I gonna get in trouble for putting this on here? No. And this shirt is from an iconic tattoo artist, Daisy Does Tattoos, on Instagram, but she did like a one of one Sharpie shirt, put it on her merch store and I bought it. I just thought it was iconic. This is kind of my like sleep shirt, PJ shirt, cause it's so long, so I'm keeping it. My Grateful Dead shirt with dancing bears, I think because I'm keeping the Terrapin one, I'm gonna sell this one. My Strawberry Jam shirt, such a cute shirt. I love this. I'm keeping that. It's one of my very few light pink shirts as well. Oh my God, why do I have so much dead stuff? I, this is my Dead & Company shirt from the last Bonnaroo that I ever went to in 2016. Iconic festival, truly, one of my faves. Haven't been back though since the old panty. I don't know if it's happening this year, is it? I hope it is. I remember last year it was supposed to happen and then it got canceled from like a flood, right? Tragic. But this one is my Bob Marley and the Whalers shirt. It's really cool, but I feel like the graphic on it is just kind of like crinkly and therefore I don't wear it that much. So I think I'm gonna sell this one. It's also like extremely worn in. Like I thrifted this and whoever had it before me loved it thoroughly. And then this is an era in itself. Look at this. My very first Mod Sun merch piece. I thought that the black shirt that I'm getting rid of is the only mod merch that I still had, but this is actually the one that I still have. And I'm gonna keep this one for memories. I might put this in like a memory box here though. I feel like if I'm not gonna like wear it, wear it, I should retire it from taking up drawer space, but I still wanna keep it. Similar to like my game day shirt from middle school, it's not like I'll actually sport that around as a 25 year old, but like I like knowing that I still have it, you know? And then lastly, somebody made me this. It's just like a screen printed shirt with a smiley face on it and then the back of it says, stay smiling, it's not just a phrase, it's a movement. And I think that they either gave this to me on a VidCon or a Playlist Live, but either way, if you're the icon that made me this shirt and you still watch my videos, please comment down below. I wanna know who you are. But yes, this is also a memory box kind of a moment. Like, I need to keep this. All right, let's put everything back. Wow, we got rid of a lot there. I'm proud of us. Rue, I think we did a really amazing job on the drawers. We just have one more, one more set of drawers to do and it's the one with my pants and my sweatpants in some shorts. Are you gonna help or are you just gonna kind of relax? She's probably just gonna relax. She's a little tired, a little exhausted, she told me. Yeah, that's okay. The ease with which I can open these drawers now is astonishing. The amount of months that I have been wanting to do this I mean, I just can't even tell you. It feels so good. Also, this drawer is so empty compared to the others. Like, wow. I think I might need to use this one for PJs or something, like to divide some of my workout clothes or my PJs into there, but that's for off camera. Let's move over under my bed. Can you guys see this? This is what I'm talking about. The glitter and the glue 
is everywhere all over my floor. I'm gonna need to bring the vacuum up here. I probably already will have to bring the vacuum up anyways because it always gets so dusty under here. Having under the bed drawers is actually not ideal. You need like a cover over them. So note to self. All right, let's get into all of these pants. I honestly feel like I haven't worn so much of this stuff in so long and it's so hard for me and I think a lot of women can relate to this, actually not just women, just like any kind of person ever can relate to this of like holding on to clothes that no longer fit you because you think that you will soon be able to fit into them again and you are keeping clothes as like a goal pair of pants or something and that's just toxic to your mental health your body positivity it really is in my opinion i can't speak for you guys but just for me so i'm going to be getting rid of pants today that just don't fit me right or you know i haven't worn in a really long time and honestly i'm just going to start trying on all of these pants because i feel like if I don't, then I'll keep them and be like, oh yeah, I'll wear those eventually. The only pair that I know I don't need to try on is these ones because these are my favorite pair of jeans. Anything I'm keeping, I'm gonna keep on the bed. Anything I'm gonna sell online, I'm gonna toss over there. These pants I actually wore pretty recently with the exact top that I'm wearing right now. And I think that I tucked the top in when I wore them. So it was kind of like in here, you know, giving trouser. And I realized that with these trousers, I just like haven't really given them the moment that they deserve. And so I'm going to be doing that more with these kind of army green pants and I'm gonna keep them. <sighs> okay, these pants, I don't know. They really fit the waist pretty well, you know, like they are kind of giving waist, but I just don't like this. It gives me like balloon clown pant energy and i feel like i used to be able to pull these off a little bit more i mean looking in the mirror i'm kind of like wow a sleigh like those look good yes but in the camera i'm like no so if i don't like them at every angle and i have things like this that i don't like about them the pleats i mean they are cool pants but i'm just saying i think that these were for a different style taste of mine. So I'm gonna sell them. These cords I bought fairly recently to replace an old pair of cords that I'm already selling online. And I haven't gotten any hits yet on those. So if you want a nice red pair of cords, they're listed on my Depop. But these ones are definitely more relaxed, more low rise, and just a lot better for my body right now which I think is good. So I'm gonna keep these ones. They're also just really comfortable, which is always a plus with pants. All right, these blue cords, I think it's time to get rid of. Also, here is a zipper hack. So the problem with these pants was the zipper, as I wore them all day, the zipper would just slowly fall down. So my brother told me to put a key ring around the top of the zipper, loop that through my button, and then button the pants. So now the zipper can't fall down. I just think that these are a little bit too big for me, like a little bit too roomy. I'm just like not obsessed with these and I think that I have enough kind of like bluish or navy blue pants to just have in my wardrobe and I don't really need these anymore. These floral jeans I'm keeping. I got engaged in these and I'm keeping them forever. Talk about a pair of pants that I get asked about all the time where I got them. I got these when I used to live in LA, probably in 2014, and I got them at like an LF sample sale. And since then I have severely ripped through them, but I kind of love them. I'm just really attached to these pants, even though they're like brutally ripped and it kind of looks funny. Like I just love them and I don't think I'll get rid of them anytime soon. But what I probably will get rid of is these, oh my God, the amount of sucking in. I have to do for these right now. They're like a classic high-waisted jean, but they're just too much for me. I mean, I never wear these anymore just because of how they fit. I also have to roll them up a lot because like I mentioned earlier, I'm 5'3", so they go like over my heels and it's even hard to get them over my heels. So I think that these are for somebody other than me. These are also from my friend Nevin's store, Fozzie, and I'm keeping them. She hand dyed them. Okay, these pants my sister gave to me because they're too small on her and they're a little bit too small on me as well. But I think because they're corduroys, they have a little bit more stretch and they don't hurt in the way that like thick jeans do. Like they honestly feel like I could stretch these out 
and they look nice on the bum they're giving and I don't know I just like them I feel like it's hard to let stuff like this go especially when you like get it as a gift right and I think for right now I am gonna keep these I'm about to run out of room on my memory card because I've been filming for way too long so I'm just gonna power try on all of my shorts and just show you like a mini clip of me wearing them and if I'm keeping or deleting okay because I'm gonna keep all of my sweatpants I wear sweatpants like almost every except in summer. Also, here is your disgusting reminder to vacuum under your bed. Like, why haven't I done this in a deep clean in so long? Okay, I'm keeping these red corduroy shorts. They fit so well. Keeping these army green cloth shorts as well. They're so comfortable and also fit really well. I fear I will keep every pair of shorts in here. I think I probably will, actually. These ripped ones I'm keeping from my sister. She gave me them last summer and I haven't really given them like a summer on my bod, so this summer will be that. And I'm keeping these high-waisted jean shorts from my friend Gina as well. She also gave me these last summer and I haven't really gotten the chance to wear them a bunch and I like them, I like the length. They're not as like long as a Bermuda short, but they're like a midi, you know? It's good. Okay, this is everything to me. I vacuumed under the bed and in the drawer and then I put everything back in a pleasing way and I'm so happy. And thanks for joining me for another closet clean out. I'll probably have one more going up in the coming weeks because I really need to get rid of my sweatshirts and crew necks, hoodies, all that kind of stuff, sweaters, all of it, okay? So I'll probably have another one going up and I need to declutter around the rest of my house too. So let me know if you would want like jewelry or books and other things other than clothes and comment that down below for me, okay? When I'm not on YouTube, you can find me on Twitch streaming three times a week or on my Patreon where I upload extra content. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, stay smiling. Bye y'all. <laughs>